What's going on everybody, this is DK Dynamite, and today we're going to be talking about the long-awaited solve for the Warzone drone part easter egg, what rewards you get, plus some other discoveries, definitely stay tuned, but before we jump into that, be sure to hit that subscribe button down below, drop a like, and also as a reminder, we got plenty of brand new coverage going up over on Detonated.com, expanding on all the coverage you're seeing here on the channel, just in the form of articles for those who prefer them, and plenty of tweets every single hour on Detonated's Twitter. As a reminder, as of today on all platforms, Triple XP is now live for Mono Warfare 3 and E even Warzone. This will be lasting until I think around Monday, so take advantage of that if you're still a little bit behind with your player level, weapon level, or your battle pass progression here in Season 1. But yesterday, I made a video talking about all these secret rewards, challenges, and unlocks in the new Christmas event, and that's of course separate from my full event breakdown that I posted a couple of days ago. These secret challenges were a bit confusing to talk about since some folks out there are reporting that they're doing some of these challenges, not getting the rewards, or getting different rewards from what their teammates are getting. I know it's bit of a mess, but I updated the article with more information about how to get all the free cosmetics as a part of the COD Mist event, but there's a bit of an update I wanted to include here in this video, which is how to get the He Hunts You animated calling card. People out there have discovered that over on Urzikstan, at the very edge of Old Town, you could actually interact with Krampus's arm, and it'll give you a little sound cue saying that Krampus will return, and you will then get the animated calling card unlocked, so maybe there's more secrets like this laying around the map that we just haven't discovered yet. If that is the case, I will again continue to update that article and even the pinned comment in my secret rewards video. So still quite a bit to get through here for our Christmas event, which does last another 12-ish days or so. But now moving on to the drone part Easter egg. So beginning with the launch of season one, people out there started to notice that around Urzikstan, there was a small chance of coming across random drone parts. And as clarification here for how this works, this can only be done in Battle Royale, not Plunder. And of course, not Resurgence, since you don't get the entire map to play on anyway. But over the last couple of weeks, people out there have been finding finding these drone parts, and no one could seem to find more than a single part in an individual match. So my theory early on was that you can only find one drone part in a single game, and you'd have to place it somewhere, then your progress would carry over into your next match. That's been my working theory for a little while, and now we could confirm that multiple parts can indeed spawn in a single match, but the max I've seen spawn in a single game of Warzone was two parts. Now, the cool thing is that my theory was proven true as of yesterday, which is that you don't have to collect all five drone parts in a single game. This can be done across multiple matches, and your progress does carry over. The problem, though, is these drone parts do seem to despawn after the first circle closes in. Not sure if that's intentional. Is that a bug? We'll have to wait and see, but I'd recommend doing this with a team, right? You'd want to make sure that you cover as much ground as possible with all the possible spawn points for these drone parts, as we'll get to in a second, but there isn't shared progress for this Easter egg, meaning that if you guys find a drone part and one player puts it down, that part isn't considered play down for your other teammates, only you. So it's an individual type of Easter egg, and the reward will only be given to the player that places all five drone parts successfully. So here's what you're looking for. You're looking for five different drone parts. The funny thing is that everybody thought, including myself, there were only four parts until we found the fifth one. So you're looking for a right wing, a left wing, a drone body, drone blades, a drone battery, and that'll be it. Now what's weird about this though, is you can actually mix and match some of these parts for completion. If you're like, what does that mean? Well, here's how this works. So let's say you've built nearly the entire drone. You've found the right wing, the body, blades, and the battery, but you're missing the left wing. If you, for whatever reason, come across a right wing again, you can also place that down and it counts as the left wing. I don't know why that is. Could just be a bug, but that's a bug that actually works in our favor. I don't know if you can mix and match any of the other parts. I doubt it, but it looks like the wings are interchangeable. So you can finish this with having two right wings or two left wings, or you could just find the right and the left, put it down that way. That's how this Easter egg works. At least as of now when recording this video, I will post any updates to this quest down in the comments of this video, in a pinned comment, and of course over in the article over on Detonated. But in terms of where you can place or assemble the drone parts, it's going to be on a crate right near the manor. Again, this was just found while I was streaming as of yesterday. I wasn't the first person to find the crate, but right when this crate was discovered, I went over there on stream and managed to actually find the drone part right across the way from where this crate is in the tennis court by the Shahin Manor. So what are the odds of that, right? I thought that was hilarious, but big shout out and credit to Killer Stids, a good buddy of mine who I've been in contact with for a while, especially for this Easter egg, and Warzone Tech Map. They were the first two people to actually successfully assemble this drone in a match of Warzone Urzikstan. So now that you know where to actually place the parts, always keep in mind that if you find a part in the game, you need to make sure you dart your way over to this crate by the Shahin Manor as best as you can to place it down before you end up getting killed or before the circle takes the manor out of zone. If the manor gets taken out of zone, 
I mean, try to get some durable gas masks, several of them, bring stim shots, try your best to still get to this crate to place the part down before you die. Always make sure you're being as speedy as you can when it comes to this, and that's why I'd recommend, if anything, having maybe one of your teammates grab a helicopter, have a vehicle ready so you can get to where you need to go as quick as you can. But now this is where you can find the drone parts. This is where things get crazy. So we have a nice, beautiful, detonated graphic put together by Fajardi detailing exactly where these drone parts can be found. So just about all of these spawns are on rooftops, just about all of them, right? There's a few such as the one on the left towards the manor, it's just in the tennis court, as I showed you guys earlier in this video. That's the one I found on stream. But there's a loot pool of sorts, right? There's fixed spawn points, but for any of the parts. So there's spawn points where a part can be, but there's no guarantee it'll be the exact part that you're looking for. Now, I also have seen comments saying that the body, for example, of the drone could be most commonly found near the Orlov military base, and that's probably the case, or it's just random luck. I mean, on the same rooftop on this building right next to the manor, I managed to find the right wing there and the blades, and that was across, I think, 10 or so games. You might go 10, 12, even 20 games without finding a single part, but believe me, they're there. They're on the map, but in about 10 plus games, there was a game where I found the right wing on that rooftop, and then about 11 games later, found the blades on that rooftop. Now, I believe there's even one of those buildings in Urzikstan Cargo where it's being claimed a part was found on a shelf, but I want to say about 98% of all these spawns are outside on top of rooftops. Very rarely could they be found anywhere else, but still, if you check a rooftop where there's a spawn, also maybe check the shelves underneath the roof if there's a second or third floor of that building, just to be safe. But with the limited time you have to find these parts, because again, they despawn after the first circle closes in, that's why I'm thinking, you know, you might just want to full send and hot drop on a specific point of interest every game for like 10 plus games in a row until a part of some sort spawns there, so at least you're guaranteed something that way, instead of switching it up every single match and going to different POIs for maybe an even lesser chance of finding one of these parts. Now, after what is likely going to be 20, 30, maybe 40 restarts for you guys to find all of these drone parts, once you've gone over and placed them all on the crate by the manor, here's what you unlock. You first off get the Exilient Navigation Loading Screen, which actually looks pretty nice, and if anything, gives you a hint as to where you built it. I was hoping that somewhere near the manor in one of these buildings, there would be some type of hint or set of pictures that lets us know where the drone parts may be located in a single game, but there's not. And the other reward you get is a UAV Recon Drone. If you're like, wait, what is that? It's a drone that shoots pretty high into the air and follows you, the player, for the entire remainder of that match, essentially acting as a permanent UAV of sorts, which will ping every enemy that gets near you. Now, the problem with this UAV Recon Drone is that it can be shot down and you'll even lose it immediately upon death, even if you win your Gulag. So it's a very limited reward that you will only get for that one match. I highly doubt that if the drone doesn't get shot down and you win the game that you're in, that you could bring it into your next match. Highly doubt that. But for everyone that has completed this drone Easter egg, they've pointed out that in their second match of Warzone that they played, you have to go back and find those parts again to build the drone. It's not going to be sitting here on the crate. How cool would this have been, though, if it was a permanent reward of sorts? People might argue that that's too overpowered to have a permanent UAV, but how cool would that have been if it was, let's say, a permanent UAV that maybe had a cooldown? Maybe you can only use it once a day, similar to a schematic in Zombies, or it could have been something that only lasts, you know, five to ten minutes in that game of Warzone, maybe a bit shorter. Would have been great if it was a permanent reward that you can actually go ahead and equip in any match that you want of Urzikstan Battle Royale. It's unfortunate that it took this much to go ahead and unlock this reward, just for it to only give you something for one match. And people out there have done this and have gotten killed by campers waiting for other people to place the parts down, or people have been killed near the locations where some of the drone parts can be found, because people out there are just stealing them off other people's bodies. Things could get pretty toxic inside a Warzone, so it kind of makes me scratch my head as to why it was made this way. If only there were fixed spawns for each of the parts, for example, if they made it to where the right wing can only spawn by the manor, and the body can only be by the Orlov military base, and the battery could be by uh, Zaravan City, if they would have had it that way, then there's a little bit less RNG involved, because you know what part of the map you need to be at to find a certain part, but it's very hectic with how many spawns there are for any of the five parts, and then on top of finding that, then bringing it safely to the manor before the circle closes in, 
that's a challenge in and of itself. But I do give Raven or whoever made this quest a lot of credit. I love the idea of being able to carry forward your progress on a quest across multiple matches because doing Easter eggs in Warzone is never easy. It's just a bit unfortunate with how much RNG is involved here just for you to only get a reward that lasts the remainder of that match that you're in. Yeah, you get the loading screen, but I'm really curious how many folks out there will end up completing this and how many who've done it already will end up doing it again. I'm hoping that maybe they end up fixing the spawn rates for the drone parts at some point so it's more accessible. Maybe it's a bit bugged right now, but either way, I'll keep you guys posted in the comments of this video and on the detonated article if any changes are discovered. But that is about it. This has been DK Dynamite. Leave our thoughts down below in the comment section. What are your thoughts on the long-awaited solve for the Warzone drone part Easter egg, which has been on my mind for the last two weeks or whatnot? How are you feeling about the rewards that you get, plus everything else we discussed? Really hope you've enjoyed, and peace out, everybody.